Hello, Artmark. Before discussing about the plasma arc machining, we will discuss about what is the non-traditional machining processes. Non-traditional machining processes are the defined as a group of processes that remove excess material by various techniques involving mechanical, thermal, electrical, or chemical energy, or combination of these energies, but don't use a sharp cutting tool as it needs to be used for the traditional machining processes. Now come to a topic of plasma arc machining, but before discussing about the plasma arc machining, we will discuss what is the plasma. As we know, at the room temperature, gas is generally made up of molecules, usually consisting of two or more atoms. If the gas temperature is heated to around 2000 degrees centigrade, the molecules will dissociate into separate atoms. If the temperature is further raised to around 3000 degrees centigrade, the electrons from some atom will be displaced. Atoms are ionized and get electrically charged. In this condition, gas is termed as plasma. And the principle of plasma arc machining, plasma arc machining uses ionized plasma to transfer heat. The plasma is obtained in this process by forcing a gas through an electric arc generated between cathode, a hot tungsten electrode and anode, either workpiece or water-cooled nozzle device usually made up of copper. The effect of uh, plasma devices generated by the temperature of ionized gas is increased, the heat focused into a fine flow of gas, the beam is almost spiral, velocity is increased. All these parameters help us to obtain the plasma and uh, to do the machining and to do machining of the workpiece and the metal removal mechanism the metal removal mechanism involved in this process is heating and melting by high temperature plasma high temperature plasma when impinges on the workpiece the workpiece is get heated and melted by effect of high temperature and the molten metal is moved by the high velocity plasma jet uh, through these two steps we will machine a workpiece and further the plasma arc machining is divided into two parts the transfer arc and non transfer arc in transfer arc the arc is generated between electrode and the workpiece and also called as pam plasma arc machining and non transfer arc the arc is generated between the device stock and the ionized gas is emitted and this process is called plasma arc machining as you can uh, see uh, in this image, there is an electrode in the nozzle and uh, water is up supplied uh, to cool down the nozzle and provide shielding and the gas is supplied within this gap. We will discuss this in further uh, slide. And uh, in this process, we need equipments uh, like uh, first of all, we need a power supply, which is usually direct current generator supplied through DC supply and a high frequency generator for the plasma and the gas supplier and cooling water supply around the nozzle and within the nozzle and work handling device for or servo control mechanism for the movement of uh, torch and the material tool which can withstand high temperature which is used as a tungsten uh, cathode electrode and protection against the heat and high radiation used for the machining and in this machining we have some parameters which are mandatory for the controlling the power supply required is 20 to 200 kilowatts and voltage required 50 volt to 200 volt electric current required 200 ampere to 2000 ampere and the plasma gas is also required and this is a mixture of two gases first mixture is argon and hydrogen argon has 65 percent and hydrogen has 35 percent of value in a mixture nitrogen and hydrogen have 80 to 20 ratio respectively nitrogen and oxygen also have 80 to 20 ratio respectively range of flow rate 2 to 12 
meter cube per hour velocity of plasma jet is 500 meter per second and electrode material tungsten copper hafenium or zirconium in air plasma machining diameter of nozzle orifice varies from 1.5 mm to 8 mm large size for the grooving uh, we uh, we use as the size of groove increasing the size of nozzle is also increasing the plasma intensity maximum heat transfer rate for non transferred arc we have 6.87 kilojoules per centimeter cube per second and for the transferred arc we require 24.53 kilojoules per centimeter square per second and maximum temperature which we can obtain through arc is 16,650 degree centigrade in non-transferred arc, 33,300 degree centigrade in transferred arc. Workpiece material, plasma transferred arc, workpiece must be conductor. For a plasma jet machining, non-transferred arc, non-conductive material can be machined. We can machine non-conductive material in uh, plasma jet machining, but in plasma arc machining, we can machine only conductors. General machining per performance characteristics. Plasma beam machining depends upon the power, gas flow and the workpiece material characteristics. Depth of heat affected zone depends upon the workpiece material, thickness and cutting speed. Instant cooling of heat affected zone will cause micro cracks as the water is supplied through the nozzles. It, it may affect the workpiece or uh, micro cracks on can be developed on the surface no problem of tool wear or tool breakage because there is no uh, contact between the workpiece and the tool the gap is normally 5 mm to 15 mm material removal rate mrr is high as high 114.7 centigrade uh, <coughs> metal removal rate is high as 114.7 cm cube per minute has been reported using input of 15 50 kilowatts assuming 45 percent of power is utilized for cutting above the relationship gives mrr of 92 cm cube per minute only if the plasma beam the angle of incident plasma on the workpiece work material surface condition gas flow rate are also important material removal rate also depend upon the surface speed if the surface speed increases the mrr initially increases to maximum value but it reduces after other quality characteristics tolerance better than 1 mm is difficult to obtain taper of about 0.01 mm per mm can be obtained surface finish left by the process is 66 to surface finish left by the process is 6 to 12 microns depth of heat affected zone for uh, 3 m up to 3 mm turning small diameter work and up to 5 mm when cutting material up to 25 mm thickness pbm applications the cutting materials such as stainless steel titanium aluminium alloys copper alloys difficult to cut material using oxy gas techniques cutting refractory materials rough turning bar material from the nickel alloy or other difficult to machine metals forming grooves cutting light materials such as textile drilling holes apart from machining plasma arc is also used for welding non transferred arc is used in spraying paint or ceramics or to coat material with the ceramics Main advantages of this processor, main advantage of PBM is suitable for any material irrespective of hardness or heat resistant characteristics. PBM allows high material removal rate up to 10,000 centimeter cube per hour and MRR of high strength material as comparable with conventional turning ferrous and non-ferrous metal up to 150 mm thickness can be cut. 
let's uh, discuss about the disadvantage to main disadvantage of PAM or PGM is high electric power requirement. For example, 220 kilowatts to cut a mild steel plate of 12 mm thick at speed of 2.5 meter per minute is required. The circular hole can be drilled but size limited by the nozzle size. We can only drill the hole limited to the nozzle size. Depth of hole tolerance, repeatability are limited. They, they are the some disadvantage of this process. That's all for today. Thanks.